morning everyone. We um, are moving out of the hotel because my boyfriend's family is coming today and we're gonna be a very big group so I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog but we're gonna do some exciting stuff like um, visit all the main attractions and we're also doing some street go-karting um, which is gonna be super fun so I'll see if I can vlog a little bit of that. But before meeting them, we're gonna go to um, the super famous Omo Rice place. Is it called Omo Rice or Omni Rice? Omo Rice. Omo Rice. And the place is called Kichiki or something. You yeah. know how it's really. Kichi Kichi. Really? Is it really called Kichi Kichi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I bet you've all seen like the videos of the guy slicing up the omelette, the omelette and yeah, we're excited for that. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna meet my boyfriend's family. <laughs> Seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. The star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel. After we met my boyfriend's family, we visit the Fushimi Inari Shrine, which is one of the most popular shrines in Kyoto. And it is dedicated to the Kami Inari, which are the spirits of foxes, fertility, rice, tea and sake, agriculture and industry, and just general prosperity and worldly success. But what the shrine is mostly known for is his high number of tori gates, which are set up in rows. And it really gives you the impression of entering a tunnel. And it's just very cool walking through these rows of tori gates. What the shrine is also known for are the fox st statues or kitsune that are scattered around the temple and serve as messengers to the gods. And we really liked the shrine, especially in the rain, it gave really nice vibes. And 
The food we had at the foot of the mountain on which this shrine is located was also very good. The next day we visited the probably most famous temple in all of Kyoto, the Kiyomitsu Dera temple. And this temple is located just a short walk uphill from the Yasaka Pagoda, which you probably know. And it is suited atop a small mountain in the east side of Kyoto. But I just want to mention if you're planning on coming here, be aware that it is like super crowded. We almost got to move um, on our own because it was so packed, but I think the nature, the shrine and the views you get from the top of the mountain are still worth it. Good morning. We are going street go-karting right today in Osaka. And the family already went ahead because they have the JR pass and we don't have the JR pass. So um, we're going to take a different train. I'm a little bit scared of being run over by a car in my little go-kart, but we'll see. <laughs>
famous Osaka cheesecake and we carried it around in the bag for the whole day so probably it's a little deflated and not so jiggly anymore but we were very lucky because we're one of the last people to get it oh <laughs> it's very deflated they said maybe you can put it in the bag oh no <laughs> it doesn't jiggle anymore at all it doesn't jiggle at all. Oh no. Should we yeah. try microwaving it? It says here. Um, <laughs> I think this is 500 watts and 20 to 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try. Okay, I've come to the room to try the cake. It is not, we microwaved it, and it is not super jiggly anymore, but it is still a little jiggly. So anyway, let's just try it. Oh, it's not sweet, like, got like a very small hint of sweetness, but it's not sweet and it also doesn't taste like like um, cheesecake, it's more like has a very eggy taste. Mmm, but it's very soft. I like it. Mmm, it tastes like it jiggles, <laughs> even though it doesn't anymore. Mmm, it's really, really soft and fluffy. Very nice. Very good. And although the queue was very long, I think we only queued for 10 minutes. But thank God we came a little bit earlier because they already gave out like the last few cakes. Mm. Very good. Very, very good. We're in Kawaguchi now, and there's one problem. It's very cloudy, you can't see anything. But we just rented bikes, and we're gonna go to Kawaguchi Lake, or I don't know what exactly. Maybe, so we're staying here tonight, so maybe tomorrow um, we can see Mount Fuji, but um, yeah, I've already read in, on a lot of pages that you're not supposed to like go here and stay here but to do a day trip and we obviously made the mistake of um, booking a hotel and went here and now we have bad weather and can't see on Fuji but it looks pretty nice still okay the others are leaving us so let's go Airbnb now and the clouds went away a little so now you can actually see Mount Fuji. 
to see it later and tomorrow um, but I'm gonna rest a little I mean we're gonna rest a little the boyfriend already resting because um, we woke up I don't know if I told you this already but we woke up at 5 a.m. this morning to get our train and we are freaking tired and then tonight I don't know what you're gonna do because um, there's literally nothing here except our Airbnb, so maybe we'll just chill a little. Good morning, we are stuck again with no taxi or anything, but the Fuji has come out. And the weather is super nice. It's a little cold, but it's super nice. So we just walked to this theme park, which is super cool, like going on a slide over the Fuji. So we walked here hoping we could get a taxi, but there's no taxi or anything here. So we are knocking on every door if they can get us a taxi. And my advice would really be, don't come here for one night with your luggage. Just come for a day trip when the weather is nice like this. And you can see Fuji like this. And it will be a lot of fun. with the cable car and it's okay the view is okay I think yesterday's view was nicer when you go around the lake with the bike this one is I mean it's also nice you have a very nice view but it's not worth it it's quite expensive I think the cable car and there's like a lot of people everywhere of course so I don't know what do you think? bus which is more expensive than taking a taxi and really not nice but now we have the perfect view and we are eating the sweet jeep bread which we um, bought at the train station Please help me take the pain. 